Given that Pele is one of the greatest ever football players, a lot of people thought it was about time we get a Netflix style documentary on him. And now we have. Pele has just come out. It predominantly documents his involvement in four World Cups, in which he won three, and also during the backdrop of mass political unrest in Brazil. I've just watched it, and here are my three takeaways. We've all heard of Pele, and in recent times he's become memed for the supposed amount of goals that he actually scored throughout his career. But he really was an icon, a prodigy, and the most mesmerizing player of his entire generation. In various bits of footage in the doc, you see him dribbling and scoring endless goals that would immediately go viral today. But what you don't see is that he was using balls that look like this, and boots that most of us today would struggle to run 100 yards in without falling over. I remember a couple of years ago all the hype surrounding Kylian Mbappe when he scored at the World Cup final at just 19 years of age. But Pele scored twice in a World Cup final at just 17 and was the centerpiece of a team that no one ranked as favourites to win the cup. One journalist remarked Pele didn't make the difference to the team, he quite simply was the difference. He carried them the entire tournament and was the star of the entire tournament. At the 1958 World Cup, he was the youngest player to have ever played in one full stop, and he even managed to score a hat trick in the semi final against France. But his two goals in the final against Sweden were just ridiculous. Watch these. Imagine if Messi or Ronaldo scored those goals in a World Cup final. We literally would not hear the end of it. And this was done when Pele was right at the start of his career. And then he rightly went on to become known as the king. There's often a misconception that anyone who reaches the top of their game can only do so if they have an ego. But with Pele, even after all the successes he had, he has remained incredibly humble and that's documented really well in the interview sections with him in the documentary. He was quite simply brought up with good values by his parents and he started working as a shoe shiner as a boy when his dad, who was also a football player, was injured for a while and wasn't getting paid. And throughout the documentary there are various other insights into Pele's humility. He never considered himself the best in the world. And he was way more of a team player than you'd think. In the 1962 World Cup, he got injured in the second game and had to miss the rest of the tournament. He was replaced by Almerido, who went on to score three goals in the tournament, including the vital equaliser in the final against Czechoslovakia. As Brazil was celebrating in the showers, Pele rushed in, fully clothed, to find Almerido, to hug him and congratulate him, and also thank him for helping Brazil become world champions. And in the documentary, you see how much Pele's teammates actually meant to him. His eyes light up when he's recounting all of these stories, and it seems like he actually got more out of the friendships of football rather than the successes he had on the pitch. Throughout much of Pele's career, he faced a number of pulls and pushes to be used as a political puppet. In 1964, Brazil's democracy was taken away by a military coup, which resulted in a 21-year dictatorship. And in the documentary, the only criticism levelled against Pele was his political neutrality. He refused to take sides, and some people believe that this let down the Brazilian population, who thought that he should use his platform and status as an icon to draw attention to the human rights abuses that the Brazilians were facing. It does leave you a little unsettled as a viewer, but the documentary doesn't go into the inner workings and mechanics of the political situation that much, so it's pretty hard to make a full judgment on Pele's actions, or rather a lack of action. Irrespective of this, Pele was often the glue that held Brazilian society together during uncertain times. He made people proud to be Brazilian and helped establish a globally recognized and admired country. Even with the ongoing unrest, for the 90 minutes people watched a Brazil or Santos match, they could relax and detach from whatever bad they were facing. Because watching this 5 foot 8 magician bob, weave and dance through defences was and always will be breathtaking. That's a quick review on the new Pele documentary. It's seriously worth a watch even if you're someone who doesn't like football. If you do like sports documentaries in general, then do check out this video here. Uh, it just reveals some of the top ones to look out for this year. And also check out this video here, which is my own attempt at a mini sports style documentary type thingy. Thanks ever so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up so it can reach other people who might be interested. And I'll see you in the next video.